With it being January, I am seeing so many people post, and don't mind my vibe, it's Sunday reset day. Um, but I've been seeing so many people post their vision boards and I keep looking at them thinking like, wow, like these are not the way you should be doing a vision board, right? Um, and so I wanted to talk about that. A couple things that like I use um, in my own personal vision board when I'm creating my own vision board. And then I've also done, um, I didn't do one this year, but for the last several years I've done um, an It's My Year vision workshop. And I've actually done that with adults and with kids. Um, I think I have like a an e-guide on my website. It says it's for kids, but like you could use it for either. Um, and so here's three things that I keep seeing people doing wrong in their vision boards, um, or maybe not wrong, but like they could improve upon, right? First one, this is actually something that I learned within the last couple of years is not putting words on your vision board because when we use words, our mind reads them and now it gets our conscious mind involved. And really when we're looking at a vision board, it needs to be all subconscious. It needs to be visuals and pictures for our subconscious mind to like grab onto, to think about, to create this, you know, like larger thing in our life. And so when we use words, we get our conscious mind involved, which kind of defeats the process of creating a vision board altogether because it really is for our subconscious mind. The second thing is not putting pictures of yourself or like pictures of you know, like not like cutting out your head and putting it on someone else's body, you know, like you should really be infused within your vision board. Um, this is something, again, I started doing within the last couple of years and it's made such a difference. Like I am looking at my vision board right now and like my face is glued on to like different bodies, different people, just so that I can see myself experiencing a memory, right? So like I'm seeing myself when I look at those pictures of me on that vision board, I'm like, oh, that's me. And that's how I'm now seeing myself. And these are memories that I have had. And that's why they're on my vision board. Oh, that's a picture of me with you know, Martha Stewart or whatever, like that happened because I, my brain is seeing a picture of me and her together, not a picture of Martha Stewart, right? So <clears throat> that's the second thing. Third thing, and this is from, purely from my feng shui perspective, is that you should be using the Bagua map slash home energy map, feng shui energy map to map out your board. Right, so in feng shui, we use this awesome little tool called a bagua map, or you'll hear me refer to it as a home energy map. Um, and it has nine different quadrants. The middle one represents you. The other eight quadrants represent eight main aspects of your life. So when you map that out on your vision board, it helps give you a compass for, okay, what, these are the eight main aspects of my life. What do I wanna have happen in these eight main aspects? What do I wanna learn within these aspects? What do I want to experience within all of these aspects of my life? I see so many people that have like eight words and like three pictures on their vision board they cut out of, of a magazine. And like, yeah, that's good. It's still like got you to sit down and think about what you want, but like, you're, it's, it's so vague that like, how will you even know if you manifest it? Like, okay, oh, there's a picture of, uh, that I took out of a magazine of two people walking on the beach. Like, well, who is that other person? And you know what I mean? Like, how is that really involving in your life experience? So the Bagua map can help you get clear on the eight main aspects of your life that you may want to look at and manifest things in for the year ahead. And honestly, you guys, I think that all of winter is when you create your vision board. It doesn't, it should not be. I sat down one time and like threw some stuff on a board. Like you should make a list 
of the visions and things that you want to manifest and then ask yourself and again you can get all this in my guide like it gives you worksheets and then tells you how to set up your vision board it's like four dollars um but you should sit down and say okay i'm gonna write out how i want to feel in each of these aspects of my life what i want to experience and then you're going to say to yourself what does if that happens when that happens what does my life experience look like when this happens after it happens and then you get pictures and create things that show okay this happened so this is now my life experience does that make sense and then so there's no there's no words on your vision board it's the experience and you need to get clear on the words first right you need that clarity but then secondly you're going to go back in and show your subconscious mind what you are experiencing, what you've already experienced. This isn't a wish, this is this shit already happened. I just mapped out my year, yay, it's gonna be fun. Hope this helps.